What is up guys? This is Captain James here from Redline Charters back at it with another video. Um, so in today's video we'll be uh, covering my Pair Customs 24 Mod V. Um, it has been incredibly windy so I'll try to get y'all um, a fishing video this week. May not. I might be able to. We'll see. But um, I've got the boat right here. Um, there she is looking beautiful parked on the beach. And um, in today's video we'll be um, reviewing the layout of the boat from bow to stern, the fuel burn, how she rides, and my overall impressions on this boat. Um, just to get the details out of the way, it's a great boat, I love it. But um, anyways guys, let's get right to the video. So before we get started with this video, I do want to put it out there that this is the Mod V version of the 24 pair of customs. So this boat is going to be for the light inshore angler, light nearshore work, sky figure days, and same thing with offshore. Basically a do-it-all around boat. Uh, this boat's not going to be the boat for you if you're looking to go for tailing reds in the flats. It's not going to be the boat for you um, if you're looking for going the Gulf Stream every day. I would look into the deep V version of that, um, but still, um, I do want to put that out there. This is a do-it-all boat, you got to pick your days near shore, and in shore you can fish just fine, but it's not going to be a little draft like half an inch of water, or half, <laughs> half a foot of water. But anyways guys, let's get right to it. So starting at the bow of the boat, we've got a humongous anchor locker here. Uh, open it up. And the GoPro does not pick it up, but this thing, I mean, it is absolutely humongous. We've got two buoys in here. We've got ropes in here. We've got the anchor right over there. Fits in here like a glove. Um, of course, the anchor rests right in these two little mount, mount things, whatever you call those. Um, but yeah, absolutely humongous. Um, then a really nice nav light up here. Um, haven't had any issues with that so far. Um, and then I've got the Minn Kota Tarova. Um, in case you guys were wondering, that does come with like a like a touch screen or mo. I honestly don't like it because you got to charge it every time. It's like an iPhone. It's annoying. But um. And then we've got our fish box here. Nice big latch, all fiberglass, no plastic. Nice seal that goes around it, as you guys can see. We did 5200 that latch. It's pretty nice. Um, as you guys can see, very big fish box, especially for a 24 foot boat. Um, I've got my town right here in there, my net. But, um, see, it's a little bloody from the last fishing trip. We caught a lot of Spanish mackerel, and uh, that's all we can keep. We caught a lot of gag group or two, but couldn't keep those. They, they just opened up in the season a couple days ago, so I'm very excited for that. We'll have a video for that. But, um, then next up, we've got our seat right here. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff in here, but lots of storage in there. Um, got life jackets, Ziploc bags, all the safety gear I need. Um, and then over here, center console. I just got to say the rigging in here is absolutely beautiful, first class. Um, and 
This boat, I don't know if it is like this for the GP version, but this boat for the Mod V24, um, you can't have a portal potty really in there. Uh, it's way too small. That is a little bit of a con to this boat. It's got a smaller center console, but honestly, for all the pros this thing has, I don't mind at all. And then over here, got all my electronics. And we'll start from the top to the bottom of the center console. Um, so for the top, I do have Taco Outriggers with this boat. Um, I forgot to bring them with me, but here's a quick picture of them. And here's a little thing I use them for. And I also do have radar in this boat, which I'll show you all on the T-top. There's a radar right there. Got my antenna for my radio. Got a mast headlight right there. Um, and here's my talker outriggers where they're supposed to be. I'll put them on there. Uh, on my next fishing video, I'll show you all those. those. But um, then up here, got your little box up here with the radio. Pretty standard, nothing crazy. Um, it's got a lot of boats. I've got two switches up here. Uh, they're spread for spreader lights um, from front to back. It's really cool. Um, see, it shines pretty bright there. And the next spreader out, spreader light is going to be the one right there. One right there. Got our standard Garmin, just one of them. Then compass, autopilot, does come with autopilot, or I ordered it with autopilot. Um, fusion head, Suzuki gauge, love this Suzuki gauge. Uh, got all kinds of crazy stuff on it. Rocker switches. Now, one thing I do want to point out about these rocker switches is that I love them, simply put it. Because when I first made it for one one guy at a Wrightsville Beach, on his Cape Horn, he actually had um, push button switches. And um, over time, those push buttons would actually stay pushed in. And one time it happened with their bilge uh, push button. I keep on saying the word push button, but yeah, that, that was not good because their bilge pump, you know, but it, it, it stopped working because you know the button was stuck into it and um yeah so that sucked but do you love how they did rocker switches so i don't have to worry about that and then you know of course your steering wheel troll mode that that's a suzuki thing trim tabs um, your startup keys throttle and twin power poles and then down below Got more storage. I like to put in a sealed up phone case. Nice little glove box, all sealed, as you guys can see. And then footrest for your foot. Pretty cool. And then working back, the seating. I love the seating, guys. I can't talk good enough about it. Uh, it's got armrest on it. It goes down if you want to sit down on it. If I don't know, say if you're a little shorter, you got your uh, little bar down here. Put down so you can keep your feet on there. Also, you got footrest right there. And then if you want to stand up, put these up. You know, just lean right on it. Super comfy. I love it. And also, it's so unique. I mean, from Pair Customs, I mean, it's a high grade vinyl, whatever it is. I mean, it's just really cool. And then, working back, you've got your standard T top, or this is a powder coated powder coat T top. They also do a soft top, I believe. But um, on the T top, five rod holders, and four on the bottom for the leaning post. They also do have a um, live well option on this boat. Um, I believe it's 45 gallons. You can probably check into that. Um, 
also has a nice cool little tool tray. I know this tool tray is, um, you have, that's optional in case you want that. Got your trays here, three tackle boxes. I put a couple plastics right there. Got another compartment, put a whole bunch of line in there. And then another compartment, I put Spanish gear in there. Spanish miracle gear. And then uh, two buckets underneath. Um, underneath, I've also got all kinds of stuff. Uh, orange box, fish ruler, all that. One second, guys. Turn off this engine. These gas prices are crazy. towards the back we've got our in floor storage which is sick absolutely love it now I've got all kinds of stuff in here but uh yeah the GoPro does not pick it up but guys with this in floor storage for a 24 foot boat um, I mean, it's insane how much stuff I got in here. I got three cast nets. I've got a humongous fillet table for bait. I've got my bibs. I've got chum in here. And I've got, uh, what else do I have? I've got some tackle, tackle bag in here too. So it's, GoPro does not pick it up, but it's absolutely humongous. I've got another one right here. Um, this one, I keep all my cleaning stuff in here. Bit wash, simple green, fish soap. Also, spray curtains. This is a little bag for spray curtains. We've got a poly ball in there. Cast, I think that's a cast net box. I just put random stuff in there. And some more cleaning stuff. But, but uh, this has to be probably the famous favorite thing of mine. I like about this bit. Plenty of storage. Um, it's in floor storage. I mean, that's something you see on much bigger boats than this boat. And you know, this is the length overall on this boat is 27 half feet, but that's normal for a boat that's labeled 24. Um, the Park, Parker 23 SE, I know for a fact, is like 27 half feet as well. But um, yeah, pretty cool. And then in the back, um, got TV Eddies for seating take those out I mean one thing I like when I'm fishing I just love standing here you know love getting my line out on the corner of the boat when we're anchored up or even on a drift really cool and then got your live well now paramarine um, they say this is like a 27 gallon live well um, I honestly don't believe that because as you guys can see my whole arm sticks way in here and like that's my whole arm and this thing I mean it takes a while for it to fill up and it it carries a lot of bait which is pretty cool and um, yeah also got our fusion speakers on each side and then we've got um, I think six one two three four five six yep six rod holders in the transom Twin power poles, Suzuki 300. Um, and of course, you got our Armstrong bracket. So, the reason why it's 27 feet length overall is because of that bracket. That bracket right there. It adds three feet to the boat. Um, so, that's the main reason why it is like that. Which I don't know why, but Parker 23, the Parker 23 SE, I don't know why they say it's like 27 feet length overall probably update their website or something i don't know but uh yeah guys that is she is beautiful beautiful so with fuel burn on this boat guys um honest numbers i'm being straight up honest here um so cruise speed for me i'm going around the 3400 rpm range to 3500 um burning I'm burning three and a half miles per gallon on average, which is, I mean, that, you guys probably aren't believing me right now, but I'll have a picture right here. I believe in that picture, I'm actually getting 3.7 miles per gallon. 
and I'm going uh, 30 miles per hour in that picture, I believe. I think that's what it is. But um, that is, yeah, very normal on this boat. And of course, when it gets really rough, um, I slow that thing, slow this thing down to 3,200 RPMs. I use the tabs a little bit, um, not much. I'm usually burning 2.7 miles per gallon because I got the tabs down a little bit because this is a mod V boat. But um, yeah, and the ride of this boat, guys, I mean, it is really well. I mean, for a 24 foot mod V, um, I've ridden on a lot of other boats. I was shopping around, I was looking at the Parker 23 SE, or 25 SE, sorry. Um, I was looking at both actually and um, the Southern Cross 25 which is not really a well known boat but uh, that's built by Carolina Yachts I was looking at the Schaefer too um, looking at Goss all the crazy brands all their good brands and uh, this one came out on top because um, not only is it a good boat but Brian Pear and his family they came out with me when I was looking at this boat I mean the customer service was amazing I mean and that, you know, that, that's a, that has a lot to be said, because um, you can't find good customer service these days. But um, yeah, guys. Oh my gosh, I got to show you guys this. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So my overall impressions on this boat is that if I had to scale it from a zero to a ten, I'd probably say it's a nine out of ten. I love this boat. I mean, for what it does for me, I love it. Um, my favorite thing about this boat is that it's got a lot of storage and it's fuel efficient. I mean, I'm trying to make a living at this. I mean, you know, it's super fuel efficient, getting 3.5 miles per hour. Even got 4.1 some one time. I was going with the current, but uh, it's crazy. Um, oh yeah, and also top speed on this boat that I've gotten is 58 miles per hour so far. Um, but yeah, um, overall impressions, guys, is good. I love the boat. It's an excellent boat, um, and yeah, I mean, and I can't say anything good enough. It's a structurally good boat. Customer service was there. Brian Pear, the owner, came out with me. I mean, it's a good boat, and y'all will see this boat being fished a lot. I mean, a bunch. Um, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to get out this Sunday and go fishing for y'all, but um, definitely can't guarantee it. Um, because it is, it's blowing pretty bad. I found a little island over here. Um, that was blocking those west winds. So another thing I forgot to point out, guys, I'm sorry, please, please excuse me. Uh, this is a three piece hole. Um, so I've got rod holders all around here. So, I got as many rod holders as I want. It's not going to affect the structure of the hole because this top cap right here, it's a separate piece. And, um, oh yeah, and also on this cap, bow cleat, or the cleats, very big cleats, and there's not going to break. Also, got a nice hole. I what's it called? Vertical rod. Blue for tuna fishing. Anyways random talking too much.
guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is this thing is super easy to clean. You know, the open version of the boat. You also do have seating in the front as an option if y'all do want that. But um, I will also have a six month um, video, six month up update of this boat. Um, so, and also guys, if I miss something, um, just leave in the comments. And um, I'm going to be fishing this boat a lot. So I'll probably, if you guys see me fishing, you guys can use it. You guys will probably get familiar with it. So um, anyways guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all subscribe and like. Um, oh yeah, and a little bit about me is that um, I am a part-time worker over at Intricus Langler. I'm just part-time doing charters at a rights for Beach, North Carolina. In fact, I've got the little shirt here. Bench Coastal Angler. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, that's a little bit about me. Love to fish. I want to make it my living. But, um, anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks.